Here I am at the PRS Hotel. Now this is a well-explored spot and really immaculate upscale accommodation. As you can see, they keep with the open air concept for the lobby. It's super nice. They even have a little Christmas tree set up for us Falang. You know, it's kind of funny when you're over here, ask, uh, ask a Thai person why we celebrate Christmas. A lot of them don't even know it's about Jesus or anything. But they have a uh, little cafe set up, a little lounge area, and the staff is super helpful. They have reception, you just wait right out here and they'll check you right in. So let's go ahead and show you the room before I show you the amenities. So check out this room. The man at the front desk said I had a lucky room, number 202. Let's check out this life of luxury, shall we? As you can see, I've already started unpacking a little bit. They've got a room safe, three hangers, in case you need to hang three items of clothing. Let's check out the baño, or sorry, not Mexico. Let's check out the bathroom. Check this out, look at that. That's, uh, that's how you flush the toilet. <laughs> Kooky. Well, you got a nice uh, big shower. I do not see a water heater yet, but dang, luxurious though. I wonder if they have central water heating. I'll let you guys know. A nice big, big room to do the bed test. Okay, firm, but not too firm. All the beds here in uh, Asia in general are pretty firm, Thailand especially, but uh, this one is much more closer to Western. Check out that aircon and TV. Got a little mini fridge and a desk to work on your computer. A little chair for lounging. And now this is what he told me made this the special room. Because apparently I have a giant balcony all to myself dude wasn't kidding looking at the size of this balcony i can do all sorts of activities out here I've got so much room for activities but i don't even know what i'm going to do on the balcony probably stand out here a total of 20 minutes but i digress nice room really good and uh for this price you can't say that's a bad price, especially when you're inside the city and it's got all these amenities, which I'm going to show you right now. They have a full-size gym attached. So you can come on out here, stay for as long as you like and get a good workout in. Really cool gym area with a full rack of weights, all the machines you could want. Really nice. You've even got all your cardio machines you could want. They have the pool area, very classy, very well done, very well maintained. Just above the swimming pool, they have an area where you can hit the bag a little bit or lounge about. I know, I, I packed a pair of gloves, little lightweight eight ounces. So I'm definitely gonna come out here and hit the bag a little bit. And this is the upper floor of the gym on the inside here. Looks like they've got a, another area here for cardio or TRX. It looks like he had TRX bands. It would look like you can, if you wanted to, and, but it's, it's like 71 degrees right now. Oddly cold for this time of year. But if you wanted, you could close the doors and hit, turn on the air con if it got to be too hot for your liking, I'm sure. Holy cow, this gym is huge. They have a whole nother room just for cycle classes. This is the third floor, the third floor, where they have another room set up for classes, including with audio equipment. I had no idea this was here until today. And obviously for private reasons, I'm not gonna show you the saunas. But the gentleman downstairs told me they have sauna too. For all my Northern European friends, you can use the sauna. 
and enjoy yourself. So you do have the Song Tao route that's very close that you can walk to. Just take a couple side streets and you'll be right on the Song Tao route. As you can see, traffic is pretty busy. So luckily I have my camera to make sure nobody's hitting me from behind. One of the places I really enjoy eating in this area is the Tickle Bitties Tavern. That's right there. They have some Mexican options and all sorts of Farang food or foreigner food and Thai food too. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a little, little something to eat. This area is really great, but there are other apartments you can find there for maybe 4,500 baht, 5,000 baht, but you're not gonna get the pool, you're not gonna get the gym, uh, you're not gonna get the staff. It's gonna be more of an apartment for that price every month. You are gonna get air con and hot water, but you're also gonna have to do a lot of hunting. You know, in that particular area, it's mostly Thai people that are getting the 4,500 bought apartments. So as a, a foreigner or a Farang, you'll be able to get a 5,000 bought apartment around that area. But there's going to be, you're going to have deposits, you're going to have more of a hassle getting that. But those deals are out there. I personally decided to pay the extra to go ahead and have access to the amenities and the ease of service and the cleanings. Uh, you know, one cleaning every week. So it's up to you to decide where you want to stay in Pattaya. You know, if you're going more towards Pattaya Beach, you're spending a lot more, maybe even 20,000 baht a month. This area this is going to be a little cheaper. But that's for you to decide when you come here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later down the path.